The focus over the next 12 months has got to start with our global uh, initiatives on safety to make sure we are leading the industry in creating a more safe environment for all our seafarers and also on the environment where working through the IMO there's going to be major changes on carbon emissions uh, and uh, plastics etc. At a local level, we've also got to deal with the outcome of the current Brexit negotiations, which as we sit here today, we have no idea what the end result is going to be. Therefore, we need to be agile, flexible and responsive as the situation changes. Part of that outcome will be establishing the UK once again as a great maritime nation, uh, and, and which will involve not only working together with all our compatriots across the whole industry uh, to, to support the real vision of autonomous shipping and green energy and make ourselves a world leading cluster in that respect, but it will also be sorting out the detail of how government can support us in those initiatives through such things as upgrading and renewing tonnage tax. Finally, I think we need to make sure that the Chamber preserves its excellence in the technical work it does with government uh, and IMO and our members in terms of uh, maintaining its expertise in all areas of shipping. We are sh a ship owner, primarily a ship owner based organisation and we need to make sure we're giving real value to all members for the fees that they pay. So the focus has got to be on maintaining the advice and support we can give our members and, if at all possible, reducing the fees that we pay. Thank you very much.